Welcome everybody to my Asus G750 Jay-Z laptop review and sort of unboxing. So this came in the mail uh, actually a few weeks ago. I've been always on it now, but I decided to make a review. I was going to make a review like a week ago, but my SD card didn't have enough space. So my house is finally quiet and I can now make a video. If you hear dogs barking in the background, that's because they want to come into the room. But it, Wow, right on cue. Okay, so let me get down to the boxing. Alright guys, so this is the video. So this is the uh, box that comes with it. You have to open it up from the top so it's upside down. There's a little thing right down here that you have to cut. And, oh my gosh. So this laptop is 10 pounds. So it is a little hefty. But you can pull that tab out and just open it up. And this is what comes in the box. Um, it's actually very sleek, nothing there. I mean, some of the some of the things you'll see, like the battery and the power supply, is just thrown in here because I don't keep the original packaging. So if you lift this tab up, I think the battery is back here. It does come in a package, but this is the Battery, come on, okay, just now. It's actually pretty thick, not gonna lie. So let's put that off to the side. It actually does come with some charge. I was surprised when I booted up the laptop. I forgot it didn't have plugged in, and it actually booted up. So that's that. Uh, over here, I knew was the power supply and cords. Now, yes, this is not how it comes, but for the sake of video, I just crammed it back here. It's a wait, come on. It's a pretty thick power brick, not gonna lie. So there's that. And then for what we came for, let's tuck that away. Doing one hand is so difficult. It does come in this oh my gosh. Let's throw this box to the side. That's a nice wooden piece underneath my table. So it comes in this sheet, and it's just, you just pull it out. Let's see if I can do it without breaking the laptop. Nope. All right, so back, I had to take it out. Sorry for these hand prints. It has a nice smooth plastic finish on here, and the design is pretty, pretty sturdy actually. There's a lot of ports on this side. If it would like to focus. No, there's the, on the left, it's the headphone jack and microphone jack. Two USB 3.0 jacks. Um, a mini HDMI cable, output HDMI cable, ethernet, AVG and power supply thing. And then on this side, we have the DVD drive, which is actually a Blu-ray drive as well. Uh, another two more USB ports and a lock port. And that's that's all the ports there. And there's the two, let's get this fan back up here. Okay. There's two fans, no fans on the bottom, just these two fans. One is for the CPU and one is for the GPU. GPU is the graphics card, if you guys did not know that. So it's nice, nice design. I do like how it gets there. The farther it goes down, I do not want to break the glass. That would suck. Um, and it has a nice light. This lights up when you open up the laptop. So let's open it up. Now this pad would come in a package that I'll show you later. That's also in the box, but I wanted to get into this laptop. Um, that's a nice cleaning pad. This is the touchpad. It's very large, very nice. And just the regular buttons and your lights that light up on the bottom here. Uh, you have, uh, that does not want to focus. Okay, this is a Republic of Gaming, just a little logo. I would mind not having that, but uh, it's just because I want a sleek design and professional looking since this will be my college laptop. And I'll get into why I chose this later on. 
Um, the keyboard is backlit and these keys are very nice and, and it's, it feels perfectly fine. Um, I also wanted the number pad, so it's fantastic. It's a 17.3.4 inch screen. One of those, I think it's three, it's three. Uh, the power button, and that's it. The speakers are actually neat underneath here. It's literally a strip underneath the actual screen. And there is below here is a subwoofer, which the audio sounds fine not having uh, the speakers here. It's perfectly fine. I don't notice it at all. And I like the sleek design to this laptop. And then we have the camera, which is up here. Again, the, it's all custom design, clearly. There's the camera and there's the microphone as well. And works fine. And yeah. So hold one second when I grab that little pouch that was inside the box. All right, guys, so we're back. I just want to show you the box. And yes, I'm gonna put it on the laptop. So this comes right in the pouch, right beneath the laptop. My bad, I forgot that it was there, actually. So you just undo that, open it up, and we just get a little, all these goodies. Where did that moth So you get this, the cleaning pad, um, the cardboard backing, which is supposed to be in the back of it all. Um, a user manual. Uh, some stickers, but again, I want a professional, so I'm not going to use those. Uh, this is cable management tie, quite handy actually. Um, safety thing, I don't know, and a warranty card, and yeah, all that fun stuff that nobody reads. And yeah, so. That's pretty much it. All right, guys, so welcome back. Um, so why not do the little semi-review of this laptop? So this is actually, as I said it previously, the Asus actually is the ROG G750JZ, 17-inch gaming laptop. Um, it has the Intel Core i7 4700 hertz uh, processor it has 24 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM because I need it for video ended video editing, rendering, 3D modeling, all that jazz for my major. I need I have a one terabyte hard drive and a 256 gigabyte SSD. It is a 17.3 inch screen and it has the GeForce GTX 880M. With four gigs for the graphics card from NVIDIA. Fantastic graphics card, love it. And it comes pre-installed with Windows 8.1 uh, on the SSD. And Asus does that for us. So why not just do the startup test? So it's really fast. It's a matter of seconds. And uh, while we do that, uh, yep, see, already up there. So, in this laptop, I needed to run programs such as Maya, Photoshop, Premium Pro, anything on the Adobe Creative Cloud, really. Uh, some 3D modeling programs such as Maya and other ones. And I need to be fast, beefy. Again, this laptop is built for the performance. It's clearly not thin because of the design. I give them credit. The design is very nice, sleek, as small as they could really make it. And I recommend this laptop to anyone who's willing to get it. I bought it from Amazon personally. I would highly recommend it. It was fantastic. They gave it to me actually like a day early of when they said they were suspecting for it. And it was free, free shipping for me. Uh, I've heard from other people that they ordered from some random site and they just stole their money. But Amazon, very reliable. I was going to go with Newegg because they had uh, a free uh, tablet that came with it, but I missed out on that opportunity because I was doing research of what laptop I wanted to get for college. And uh, this one beat them all out. I was, it was this or the Dell Precision 
uh, I think 600, 6, 6,100 and some, somewhere, it was the precision, the, the top of the line precision. But I also wanted to play some games with my friends since my desktop, even though it was great, uh, I had plans on rebuilding it or upgrading it. But um, I didn't want to spend the money since I was already spending 2000 dollars on a laptop that was like roughly and the graphics card in the Dell was not really designed for gaming it was solidly designed for um 3d modeling and what my major requests although I talked with the professors and they said this graphics card is perfectly fine and I agree with them I've already been messing around with it um to put on some cons on this as I've noticed when you plug in the power, the power cord here, it sort of, it's loose. It, if this cable gets tugged on just a little bit, it, it has a tendency of just popping right out. It's not, it's not that great because it's just, it's just so small. Uh, does not want to zoom. Just so small, really. So I have noticed that, that that does pop out sometimes. It's awesome if my if there's like a hole where I can just throw it down and it, it stays there. Also for gaming I've noticed is when I'm in the WSD keys, I like to rest my hand here and it's on the mouse pad a little bit. So it sometimes moves the mouse when I'm playing with the mouse on the other side and it sort of messes it up. Also I sometimes click this button. So there's that. Um, so that's why I put that cloth here. I just lay it right down around here. So I can't, I can't touch it and I can hit WSD. But other than that guys, uh, this is my review and somewhat unboxing of my, of my laptop. Uh, again, highly recommended to anyone who wants or is thinking about getting this laptop it hasn't really failed me yet and for Windows 8 users uh, I wanted Windows 7 and I was going to do a very risky install Windows 7 on here but since there's no drivers it's going to be a little risky because I might have messed the entire thing up so uh, to get it to how I like it I download the program start is back and that changed Windows 8 so, so much. Oh, it's just, I love it now. I love Windows 8 now because I have my start button back button. And so it's just the little icon there. It would be the Windows start button. And I programmed it to set that um, when I boot up, it will go to desktop, not those stinking tiles, which is awesome. And it's basically a faster version of Windows 7 and nice sleek boxes. So I'm very happy with it. If you have Windows 8, I highly recommend you getting the Start Is Back program. It's only like $3 for one, one uh, key. Um, you can just get through that through PayPal. It is like a Russian company, so if you see where your money was transacted to, don't be surprised if it's just a random name from Russia with the Russian alphabet. <laughs> I'm like, ew, where did I just send my money to? But it's so worth it. That's the best one that I found through another researching project that I did. So this should conclude the laptop review. Uh, put the things in the description of hopefully I remind myself of the things I remember. It's a beast. Uh, I do have one thing, when you're on the desktop of this laptop, you want to right click and go to the NVIDIA Control Center, and I think in preferences, I'm not really sure, but you need to navigate through the channels and change to use the NVIDIA graphics card all the time. Because on some games it defaults using the Intel one that's in the motherboard, and it's horrible, and it drove me insane. I'm like, I have a fantastic graphics card and I'm getting like 10 frames per second. What the heck's wrong with this? 
but do that uh, it's easy to look up and it will save you so many hours of frustration <laughs> so this is my review uh, I hope you guys like it and peace out